Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Music in Worship class. I'm a missionary in the Philippines and a music pastor Ivan Landini Bach. Uh, let's study hard uh, so that we may uh, become true worshipers before the Lord God. Uh, let's please Him. Amen. Uh, chapter 1, Principles uh, of Worship. The first chapter is a lecture on worship subject. So why do we study and talk about the worship now? Uh, because uh, if we don't know uh, the true meaning of worship, the studying and talking about the worship music uh, may be also meaningless. So let's move on. Number one, general understanding of worship. I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. Parenthesis number one, the vocabularies of worship and the meaning. First, in Hebrew word, abad meaning is service, and shaha meaning is bowing down, and yare meaning is fear or reverence. And second, uh, worship uh, in Greek, kult or kulere, uh, meaning is adore, and uh, proskuneo, uh, meaning is bow down and worship, and Latrewo, a meaning is uh, spiritual service of worship. And last, Sebo, meaning is fear and reverence. The third, worship in English, liturgy. The meaning is a specific form of worship. And the term worship is a compound word, a word plus ship. So, uh, it means a worthy person and uh, that God is worthy to be praised. The fourth, in German, worship in German, Gottesdienst. So, Gott meaning is God, and plus Dienst uh, is service. So, according to the uh, many of origin words, uh, worship means uh, to exhort, to serve, to devote, and to dedicate. Okay, the parenthesis number two, definitions of worship. First, the worship is to encounter and fellowship with God and His people. And second of definition, the worship is uh, to express invisible feelings uh, through a visible form to God. So in addition, there are many definitions of worship by many theologians. The parenthesis number three, principles of worship. Okay, the first, the according to the first Corinthians 724, worship is God's calling and human response. We pleaded with you, encouraged you, and urged you to live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy, for he called you to share in his kingdom and glory. So only those who are saved people can worship the Lord God. The second, the according to the John chapter 4, 24, uh, we should worship God with the spirit and the truth, right? So, so what is the worship uh, in spirit? The, it is that we worship God with heart, mind, and strength. Then what is the worship in truth? The, it is that we worship God in the right way. Uh, so in the Bible, Nadab and Abihu, uh, they used a strange fire. So you know the King Saul. So Saul, King Saul himself sacrificed uh, to God. So uh, those are not the way God wanted. The third, personal worship and congregational worship both are important. Of course, uh, we worship together in a chapel or a sanctuary as a group. But God sees each one's heart. Uh, fourth, the cyber worship or multimedia worship. So what do you think about cyber worship? Is it okay? So actually, the, it is usually not okay. So, but it may be acceptable uh, for specific situation. Parenthesis number four, the purpose of worship. So what is the purpose of worship? 
자, it is to glorify God following the purpose of His creation. So Isaiah 43:21 says clearly, I have made Israel for myself, and they will someday honor me before the whole world. 자, let's move on to number two, the worship recorded in the Bible. Parenthesis number one in the Old Testament. 자, at the time, worship was the sacrificial offering. As you know, first, in the patriarchal times, uh, like age of Abraham, they sacrificed the bull, ram, or doves without defect. And second, uh, temple worship in the days of Solomon, uh, they worshiped with the spirit and truth first time, but it finally became a ritualism. What makes you think I want all your sacrifices, says the Lord? I am sick of your burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fattened cattle. I get no pleasure from the blood of bulls and lambs and goats. And so the Lord says, These people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And their worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by rote. The third, uh, they had worship in synagogue but actually no record in the Old Testament in the Bible. The parenthesis number two in the New Testament. The first times of Jesus. The, in the temple, people offered the burnt offering, fire offering, sin offering, and the wave offering. The, and at that time, baptism and the communion started. Second, the days of the apostles. The saved people gathered and worshipped with the teaching of the apostles, uh, praise and prayer, and communion. The Apostle Paul gave us a model of spiritual worship. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. And third, worship in synagogue. They worship with uh, God's word. Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. We can guess uh, they uh, used the instrument uh, to sing praise. When you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. The number three, the components of worship. So we worship God with the followings. So first, praise or praise and worship. And second, repentance and or atonement. And third, prayer. And fourth, scripture reading and preaching. And fifth, gratitude and offering. And sixth, uh, blessing and restoring. And seventh, uh, assembling and fellowship. Uh, in contemporary worship, the above components of worship are uh, somewhat ignored. So sometimes uh, we can omit them, some of them, but it should not be totally ignored for uh, no reason. We study the chapter 1, Principle of Worship, and next time uh, we will study chapter 2, Understanding of Music in Worship. Thank you for listening. May God bless you.